friends uh, in this video I'm going to talk about another threat uh, uh, in of the ecosystem which is called the eutrophication now uh, what eutrophication generally means is the depletion of oxygen or depletion of active oxygen in uh, in, in water or uh, uh, water of pond or lake something like that so as you can see this is a schematic presentation and uh, as you can see at the end of uh, all these procedures that are going on uh, throughout uh, these eutrophication steps finally what happens decomposers are the agents which are just taking all those oxygens uh, from from the water as a result other uh, life pond life like fishes and all those trees and all those other different lives cannot continue their journey in, in that pond because of the depletion of oxygen content Okay, now this eutrophication is massively done by different agents like LLGs uh, is is one of the agents. Another uh, one is the microbes or decomposers. Now there are several steps for achieving this eutrophication or oxygen depletion, and uh, that can be achieved by first thing uh, the nutrient nutrient load up into uh, the environment. Now what happens normally? Soil is enriched with nutrient sources. Normal soil is enriched with uh, few nutrient sources. But what happens? We release those soil for our cultivation purposes. Now as a result, those uh, highly rich nutrient uh, soil are uh, there and when the rain uh, fall uh, fall onto those soils they take away the soil fro soil and the soil water uh, usually tend to go and meet this pond or pool or lakes and all these things and those lake water contain all those nutrients or enriched with nutrients okay and these are nothing but the runoff of fertilizers okay now what happens in the second phase is that there are plants uh, who who nourish with these nutrient sources and they start to grow and as we know in, in every ecosystem we must have some uh, mm, uh, what we can say the producer so in this case these plants serve as the producer and also the phytoplankton serve as the producer then they start to produce food and based on those food there are other life uh, life forms that start to grow okay life forms like other life forms like fishes and all these things start to grow and not only fish but also different types of algae which can uh, have the food from those uh, trees or algae can also uh, take up all those nutrient sources and sunlight to produce food on their own so there are massive amount of algae growth can be seen right after this nutrient wash off uh, from uh, those cultivation fields this is called the algal bloom okay now there are several dangerous effect of algal bloom uh, named as a red tide uh, i am not going to talk about that now but what I am going to talk about is that the basic phenomena. So what happens uh, when uh, these algae uh, start to grow in huge amount? What they are doing in this case? Uh, so so finally, when they start to grow on the surface of the water, as you can see here in this picture, on the surface of the water in this uh, picture, it, it is much more clear. You can see these green algae are growing all around the surface of the water, and they start to make this bubble. These bubbles are nothing but uh, filled with uh, different gases: carbon dioxide, oxygen, nitrogen methane and different types of gases are out there okay now they are suddenly blocking the sunlight uh, they, they are limiting the sunlight thus they are limiting the photosynthesis of other uh, uh, other uh, trees uh, which pr which are present on the uh, lower uh, region of this pond or lake whatever it is okay so this uh, these trees are depleting uh, carbon dioxide these trees are depleting the sunlight as a result of that they cannot produce oxygen via photosynthesis they cannot produce food and as a result these trees are going to die and what happens when the producer is start to die these algae are just uh, growing devastatingly uh, and as a result of sometimes they also uh, pr produce nitrous oxides and all these things as you can see here and as a result of this production of this nitric oxide mosquitoes and other different opportunistic insects start to grow on them and they start to colonize as well and as a result algae are are actually overtaking or hijacking the whole ecosystem of this pond due to the uh, wash up of fertilizers from a uh, cultivation field and as a result what happened when the time is going on algae uh, algal uh, populations are start to die and as a result of that death there are decomposers now microorganisms different bacteria are out there they feed on this dead algae and as a result they start to uh, continuously take oxygen from this water so as you can see oxygen is taken by uh, algae massively they take oxygen and also decomposers start to take oxygen and also uh, the, the this tree which produces oxygen are going to be killed because of uh, the blockage of sunlight so they cannot go through the photosynthesis step so they cannot produce the oxygen so what happens is suddenly uh, kill all the plants 
and also uh, all the other life forms which which uh, in previous case depend uh, on this plan for their food start to die like this fishes and all these different animals uh, so short animals or insects start to die okay so this is an effect as we can see it it will be dangerous and all those dead fishes if we eat those dead fishes we can also it, it the effect will be also harmful because th we that will be pro prone to the biomagnification because this uh, fertilized uh, runoff uh, is also uh, containing those uh, ddts and all those pesticides out there okay so the pesticides uh, uh, can affect our uh, body system too. So not only the eutrophic eutrophication is going down, once eutrophication is in uh, proper amount that means we are also tending to have the biomagnification. Okay. So that's why this eutrophication is a really uh, serious threat for uh, our ecosystem. So we need to prevent those and we need to need a little bit care about utilizing uh, utilization of fertilizer. So we cannot utilize this fertilizer whatever we want but we can also we can only use in proper condition proper situations. Okay. So that's it and I hope it will help you. Thank you.